everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Saturday to everybody. I'm here today to share a design team project um, using a couple of older dies from her store. Not old, but um, these were from the previous design team package. And um, But I was inspired to make something kind of mother uh, Mother's Day related. And so I'll just go ahead and share with you guys. So I used this lipstick die as well as this crown die. And I had purchased a product, which I'm going to share with you in a minute, from Hobby Lobby. I went, I went there the other day to see what clearance stuff they had. And I haven't even done my little haul yet. And I didn't find a whole lot of stuff, but I did find some cute things. So, um which led me and inspired me to create this next Alina Craft project. So these are the only two dies that I used. And I also busted out my Tilda paper, which has been on um, <laughs> in my hoard vault. And um, there was a time when I really loved, love, love, love. I mean, I still do. Um, love my Tilda papers and if you guys are not familiar with this this is uh, Tilda which is um, from the UK and it's very hard to get here um, although a lot of stores now carry them but um, um, there was a favorite online store of mine and she was carrying a bunch of these papers and so I had stocked up on some but anyway this one is called happiness is homemade and as you can see here um, there's a lot of reference to sewing you know um, handmade things obviously uh, there's spools and scissors and buttons and um, just fun fun elements and it just reminds me of my mom um, my mom was a seamstress and um, she made lots of clothes <laughs> and uh, curtains things like that and so she was always um, making beautiful things for the for the home and uh, I just also wanted to um, remember her since it is Mother's Day Mother's Day tomorrow so um, I'm really dedicating this video to my mother um, who is no longer with us, but um, is remembered for her amazing talent because my mom was very talented. I, that's probably where I get my creativity. Um, like I said, she can do magic with the sewing machine. And um, I didn't inherit the the sewing <laughs> gene, though. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm very rusty with um, sewing. But anyway, sorry for the chit chat, but yes. Um, so let me just share what I created with you guys. And I'm so, so proud of this because um, I actually used some um, things from my mom's sewing box. So here is my first one that I created. Isn't this just adorable? So this is a lipstick case. Of course, you don't have to put lipstick in it. Um, so I assembled it with 110 pound paper and then um, I went ahead and covered it with the designer paper from that Tilda collection, um, Happiness is Homemade. Um, this is the die cuts from the collection. Um, this is a cut apart, it's, it's kind of, it's the same pattern. So, but as you can see, there's buttons right here. Um, on the paper this is a cut apart and then here is that beautiful crown um, die die cut and I cut it out in this um, nice it's a very nice gold and it's actually double-sided as well this gold so I thought it went perfectly with this I also put a little bit of uh, trim just to cover up the uh, the you know seam between this and this paper and then um, there's that um, whole reinforced um, reinforcer that comes with this die set 
I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was such a fun project to create. Very unexpected. And um, I was able, you guys, to use, first of all, you know, all my Tilda stuff that I've um, cherished and hoarded. <laughs> so I'm really trying to use, use my stash. These are wooden spools. This is also Tilda. And um, they're teeny tiny spools. And I love them so much. They're so cute. My mother would have, would have loved this little project. See? They're teeny tiny. And it comes in a 10 pack. And um, I had bought this from Tracy's shop, um, which is no longer open. But um, it used to be um, Art, Attack, uh, Art Attack Supplies. Art Attack Supplies. Dot com but um, anyway that's where I got all my tilde stuff so that's the spool you see here I did put my own gold thread on it um, this one here which I think can't remember if I got this from Walmart or from Joann's um, anyway that's what I used to put on the spool and then this little piece here is actually from the Pemberley um, charms uh, it's not this one. I just attached that, but it came with all these charms, um, including that those pair of scissors, and that's what I put on top. I made a little spool topper. You can barely see it there, but um, I did punch out um, one of the papers. Um, I put this wild orchid craft flower on here and then these buttons you guys this is from my mom's sewing box oh my gosh i i just i love this so much it brings me joy to be able to use some of the things that my my mom had in her sewing box and that i've inherited after she passed away and um this is just um again that same ribbon that i used here for my stash um and so as you can see you don't have to use this as a lipstick box but the reason i decided to use this was because inside this is what i found at hobby lobby they had this little lipstick case okay this is in the sewing notions um section at um, Hobby Lobby it's called uh, the brand is got a notion and it's a lipstick pin case now this was not on sale um, this week uh, the Sewology stuff is all 50% off but this one was not on sale I don't know if this ever goes on sale but this was a dollar ninety nine which is not bad at all and um, this was my inspiration to create this lipstick um, box because um, inside I went ahead and put some pins which I also got at um, Hobby Lobby and look it's a little pin cushion isn't that adorable I know I've seen someone haul this before or or they were gifted it or was I gifted one I don't know <laughs> I can't remember but it's so cute and it fits perfectly in there you guys so um, I I I'm going to give this to my sister who doesn't really sew, but um, I think she can appreciate it because, um, you know, it has the vintage buttons from my mom's sewing um, box, which I think she'll like. But oh my gosh, this just is so cute. And that's why I used the lipstick uh, box because um, that was just a really cute little. Um, pin, pin um, container that I got from Hobby Lobby. So isn't this adorable, you guys? I love it. I love making themed um, projects with this particular die. So if you don't have this die from Alina Craft, you have to get it because it's just too adorable. Um, okay, so that's why I had to, um, you know, bring it back again, revisit the die. So um, here's the next one, and this one is so cute and I think I'm gonna keep this one just because it has a lot of elements that I absolutely love um, like this dress form so anyway um, for this one I just um, 
you know, made it a little bit different and I used a different paper. And um, I didn't really use die cuts on this one from the paper collection. Um, except for this cut apart here that has, again, the button, the button pattern. I mean, the, um, the button print on the paper, as you can see. And then I did um, whip out some of my um, trims that I had gotten from downtown LA years ago. And um, so yes, I was able to use that. So, um, and the reason I used some trim down here was because I wanted to make sure that this uh, dress form, because it's metal, that it would actually grip something. So when I um, glued it using my Fabri-Tac, I glued the bottom legs to that um, little trim crochet trim and then I also put a little bit of glue here in the back and then just for security I even put the little uh, jump ring that is on the loop here because it's a charm um, I just secured it on this crown so that um, it doesn't go anywhere and then this um, spool is actually from a different pack it's this one right here which i think is one of those dress it up it's either the dress it up or knickknacks from hobby lobby and it has these um half spools as you can see here they're um of course they are um buttons and so i just removed the shanks from the back and then glued that and then again, used a lot of my mom's buttons and I hung some here. Look at this one. This one is super old. It's like really vintage, <laughs> vintage looking anyway. Um, and then I just used some roses. Um, and I don't remember where I got these. If These are Wild Orchid Craft roses, but they're um, rosebuds. And I just kind of laid it on there. I just thought it gave it a nice look. And, um, and then I put the scissors, and the scissors uh, came from um, this here, which was from the dollar section um, back when uh, Michaels had the dollar bins. And um, yeah, I remember getting these, and I absolutely love them. And um, so I used the, the pair of scissors here just to kind of match, um, you know, the brassy look here. And it's so cute. Very vintage right and then on the inside I have again oh and look at the back you guys I just have to show you look at that kitten is that not adorable so cute okay and yeah it's just as well I keep this one because my, my sister's not into cats <laughs> um, not that I I'm more of a dog person as well but um, I love kitty cat up uh, pictures and videos oh, those are hilarious hilarious okay and then this one is the same thing um, I put the pins on the inside same pins basically but this one comes in this um, pretty uh, darker pink and I love it I just love how ornate this little uh, uh, pin container is this lipstick case it's so cute so just wanted to give you guys some ideas if you're um, trying to create some things for you know yourself your swap um, for your mothers and um, yes I was happy to create this and um, happy Mother's Day to everybody and I hope you guys have a, a safe and wonderful celebration and um, yes I just want to dedicate this to my mom because she is gone but she is still in our hearts and I love her so much and miss her so much but whenever I create and I see things um, you know that just remind me of her um, I just get so inspired so even though she's passed away she still inspires me so thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.